everyone it's Cindy Otter here with my RT endeavors I'm back because I started to play with um, what I was gonna do with the my year project I or I'm sorry my yearbook project um, the girls are also taught calling it a calendar so how it doesn't matter what you decide to name it but it's in AJOS and we're working on you know I'm working out what I'm gonna do with mine so in my previous video I showed you guys this was normally my personal journal um, I do it a lot like I'm gonna do my yearbook however um, there's more things that I'm gonna add to it and I think it's just kinda kinda grow a little bit so here's what I was doing this morning I printed off some photos that I want to put in um, I used a couple dies this one I know is a Sizzix Tim Holtz and I hate this lighting I'm sorry guys it will be changed um, this is a Sizzix die cut um, by Tim Holtz. So there, I used this one and I cut this out and I decided to keep the strips as well because mm, you never know what they may end up for. The other one I used was this envelope. Um, I ended up just cutting off the top part of it. Here it is. The top part of it. I just wanted the bottom to have a place to, a pocket basically to stick things in. So there's those two. Now what I planned on doing, this one I'm not sure if I'm going to use today or not, but what I plan on doing, I'm going to start out with a little pocket, I think, I don't know, here or here, and I'm going to make this uh, my yearbook 2024, and I'm actually going to start it this month even though it's December of 23, and that's just because I have stuff I need to put into it. I really hate this lighting. So anyways, um, I've got my stamps out here. I'm going to stamp um, yearbook 2024. I'm going to put some decorations on it. I'm going to play around with some colors. I'm not sure what else. I'm going to get some pictures in here. But I just wanted to bring you guys along and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> One thing I wanted to say guys, um, I use, and I have done this in the past as well, I like to use water in my composition notebooks. I don't care about the crinkly sound. Um, I don't care about the little wrinkles that come in it. It doesn't bother me. Um, to me it just adds a little bit more character to the book. And one of the reasons I wanted to put some type of color down here is I want to 
differentiate it from the rest of my book. So this is going to be my um, book for my yearbook 2024. All right, just want to throw that in there. I'll be back.
Okay, so here's just my front page for my yearbook for 2024. Um, this page I'm actually going to use to kind of close up this year as far as um, what I've got in this side of my personal journal. Um, like I said, a couple things. The water, yes, if you use a composition notebook, it's going to make your, your paper kind of clunky. I don't care. Uh, another thing is if you decide to do the washi tape along the edges, you may want to put a little bit of glue down first because if not, they will come up. This one I did not glue down, see? So, um, you know, just a little tip if you decide to use washi on your edges. I have many, many, many rolls, so I had to find something to do with them, right? Um, I'm not doing anything fancy. I didn't want anything fancy. I just wanted a demarcation point between that book and this one. So now, see how the back side's wrinkly? I don't care. It's going to write just as well. See, here's more of this. Um, it's going to write just as well. It's going to It's going to be fine. It's all good. So I guess that it was it. All right. So we got that put down. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a quick minute. I'm going to fast forward through all of this. Um, I'm just going to write a few things down, kind of give you a, just an idea of a layout, how I'm going to do my pages. And just so you know, they're going to change pretty much daily. Um, but just to give you an idea of what I'm going to do in this book and how it's going to look. All right. Enjoy. Hey, guys. Sorry, I'm going to have to do this um, on the recording because I thought it was recording and it was not. So um, basically what I'm doing, I always start off my pages and you'll notice that throughout my whole journal, there's always stickers of some kind. I don't know why, it's just because I love stickers. I enjoy, you know, putting them in my books. Um, I will use a lot of washi tape throughout my book too, again, because I love it. It's, you know, and I like to use it. Now, what I did here, this is the back page we just did. And then what I did here is I basically put the date, um, talked about Vicki Peg and I having the conversation about what we put in a yearly calendar if we do them. Um, so we came up with what we're going to do for 2024. Mine is only one version. Everybody else has their own versions. And it doesn't matter how you do it. It's just a great way to keep track of your life, basically. Um, I did take that picture of Vicki Pegg and I. So I am going to put this right here in the book. And remember I told them that was going to be the first picture in my book? Well, it is. Okay, it's not even. I don't care. This is this is my book to play with. This feels like it's got two pieces. It doesn't. Um, this is my book to play with and do, you know, whatever I see fit. So if you decide to work on this challenge or decide to, you know, work along with us, do what feels good to you. I don't like that angle, but anyways, that's the cover of my book. Um, just do what's what feels right. If you don't want to put in a quote, don't put in a quote. If you don't want to put in stickers, don't put in stickers. You know, it's all about what you want to do and what you find makes you happy. All right. Um, this goes along with, you know, my personal journey that I've done for years. And it's, it's a fabulous way to kind of keep track of yourself and also to um, keep track of what you're doing. Now, I am also going to put a pain scale in here uh, because I live with um, chronic pain daily. Um, as a matter of fact, yesterday was a really bad day. It was a what I call a bed day. Um, I'll tell you, those fibromyalgia flares and the chronic pain from my back don't get along. So, all right, so I don't really have room. Well, I can put it right here. I'm going to stick it right here. That works. Now, because this is a composition notebook, I don't feel like I have to, oh my gosh, i got to fill in all the space because this is an expensive journal. No, it's not. I may doodle around in here. I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it as is. I don't know. So, um, another thing I'm going to do is I want to put in a pain scale. Hold on just one moment. Okay. Now, you can put a pain scale, you can do it in a, gra a graph, you can print out a mini calendar, you can do all kinds of things with this. But what I am going to do is, I have these little cutouts that I've had for years, 
Um, you can do goals. You can do, like, here's a habit tracker. You know, I could do that as a pain scale. Um, there's all kinds of different stuff. You can, you know, make up your own way of tracking it. I am going to track it on this, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. I just don't like those bulky, funky edges, so I'm going to kind of make it a little softer just by cutting it down so it just, I don't know, it's not all flat and pointy. All right, so here's going to be my pain scale for December. First thing I'm going to do is lay it down. Now, what I have to do is I need to figure out what pain scale I go by. I normally go from 1 to 6, and then I go from 7, 8, 9, and 10, because I don't live in any less than a 6 pain scale daily. Actually, I should say a 7, but I'll go with 6 for now. So basically, I'm going to put in here 1 to 6. Um, and I'm going to put a color. And then I'm going to put 7 to 10. And I'm going to put a color. Okay? So now this month, let's see what colors we're going to use. Let me find two colors. We're going to use glitter pens. And let's do a purple and a yellow. All right, so one to six is going to be a yellow. Okay, and purple is going to be seven to ten. All right. Now, if you want to break this down simpler, go for it. There's no reason you can't. So I'm on December 5th. I can tell you December 1st was fine. December 2nd was fine. December 3rd was fine. And December 4th is not. Was not. And December 5th, I'm in quite a bit of pain. What happened yesterday is I had a flare. I had a fibro flare. And it was really extreme. So here I am, I can go back now and I can look at this and I'd be like, oh, you know, I had a great pain month or, oh boy, I had a bad pain month. So these two pens, I'm going to put right in here and stick them there so that I know those are my mood pens, or not mood. <laughs> yeah, that's another one you can do. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> those are my chronic pain. So I'm just going to label this. Okay, another thing I plan on doing in my book, this one I'll use for the month of December, and then I'll find something else to use for January, February, etc. You got the idea, right? Okay. Now, the other thing I like to do is I like quotes. As a matter of fact, I bought, I was going to say a matter of thought, and it went fought. Um, as a matter of fact, I bought these stickers. And they're really hard to read, <laughs> even up close. But some of them, these are all kind of like, all right, here's one now. It says, every time you thought you wouldn't make it, you were wrong. And you are even stronger and more capable now. So these, these are kind of like, um, I don't want to say a self-help, but more like a, you know, just a, you're okay, you can do this. I don't really know how to fix anything, but I can take small steps forward until I'm in a better place. We're going to make it through okay. I like this one because, you know, the last the way I've been feeling the last two days, today and yesterday, um, is rough. Uh, let's see. Being overwhelmed doesn't mean you're weak or incapable. We just need a long while to recharge sometimes. Um, along with the, the fibro and the back I also have chronic fatigue so that's a really good one for that can't read that one you have conquered every single bad day your entire life and today will be no different okay so this is the one that's going in here um so anyways I got these little things I can't remember if I got them off like wish or timu or one of those I don't know so I use these a lot a lot of the stickers that I have um I've also gotten from there different places uh I just I love stickers and I love to use them in what I call my personal journal, which is now going to be called 
my um, my yearbook. So I'm going to put this one in here. Again, got to love the stickers. Uh, what art I did, I had those pictures here. Um, this was for the other day. This is, you know, I recovered my journal and I redid the inside of it. I still have more I want to do on it, but it just hasn't got there yet. Okay, as soon as I can get this sticker off, I'll put this in my book. There we go. Alright, so, you know, I'm going to put this right here. I don't always put the stickers in the corners. Sometimes I'll string them across the middle. Sometimes I'll bring them up and down. It, it just, it doesn't matter. However I feel like doing it. Okay, the other thing I wanted to do is I took this picture of our Christmas tree because this year we have a very, I don't know if you can see it, tiny Christmas tree. It's sitting on a little game stand. Um, and we decided that this is it. We're not going to put up a great big huge one. It's just Jeff and I and probably his mother is going to come up for Christmas. So um, I just want to put this little Christmas tree in here. And I think I'm going to put it right here in the middle. And then I'm going to write about why we have... See, I'm cockeyed again. Why we have a little Christmas tree. So I'm going to write through here. And then, like I said, I might doodle. I don't know. If I don't feel like it, I won't. Um, but that doesn't mean I can't come back anytime in the future if I don't have anything to write or anything to say or whatever. I can just sit here and doodle around. All right. So that's basically an idea of how I'm doing my journal. Um, excuse me, my yearbook. Uh, if you have any thoughts, let me see what else we had to put in here. Codes, pictures, thoughts, art, travel, family, canning, gardening, doctor's appointments, etc. Um, right now, this is what I've got. So there it is. I hope this gave you guys an idea of, you know, how to start your book or how to start your calendar or start your journal, however you want to call it. And I hope you guys have really enjoyed this. I will chat with you again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.